He's finally here. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Brewster has finally made his way to New Horizons, and I am all about it. What does he do? What does he offer us? And how can you get everything that he has to offer? First off, there are a few requirements to be able to unlock the cafe and, in turn, Brew Brew. You need a three-star island and finish unlocking KK. You also need to have donated at least 60 creatures to the museum to unlock the art gallery, and donated at least one of each of art, fish, sea creature, bug, and fossil. You also need to be the island representative to be able to actually move the story along. Once you unlock the ability to find Brewster, Blathers will send you on a quest with Captain to try and find the coffee pigeon. When you find him, you'll convince him to return to your main island and open a cafe. After a day of construction, the roost will be open for you to enjoy. When you enter, take a seat at the coffee bar. Brewster will offer you a cup of coffee. He'll slowly and magically pour you the best cup of coffee you'll never taste and pass it over to you. You have the option to drink it scalding hot or let it cool. In past games, Brewster would scold you for not drinking coffee in the proper way of burning off your taste buds. This time around, he seems to have gotten a little more kind with age. If you wait for it to cool a couple times, he'll brew the coffee at a lower temperature for you in the future. A cute little detail that they didn't have to include, but they did, because it's Nintendo. It's also a nice way to show the increased friendship between you and Brewster over time. After a few days of ordering from Brew Brew, he'll offer you some pigeon milk. Accept this offer. This is a golden opportunity that you do not want to pass up. It is the best achievement. Congratulations, you've beaten the game. Accepting the milk doesn't actually do anything different. It just adds a nice, mild, milky flavor to your coffee for your character. I couldn't find an exact number of days that it took to actually get pigeon milk. It seems to be somewhat random when he offers you that sweet, sweet milk. I got my first offer after nine days of drinking coffee, and no, they do not have to be days in a row. The first coffee of the day counts towards your goals. There is a long-term Nook Mile goal that you can work towards by drinking coffee. Every day you go to a pigeon man and get your caffeine fix, you'll work your way towards more Nook Miles. The Nook Mile achievement and pigeon milk aren't the only rewards you can get for drinking coffee. Every day you grab a cup from Brewster, you'll get one step closer to receiving a physical gift. After five days of coffee, you'll get a cooking recipe for a cookie, and it's freaking adorable. After 10 days, you'll get coffee beans, 15 days, a Roost branded cup, 20 days, a coffee plant, 30, a siphon, 40, the Red Pro coffee grinder that we see behind Brewster, and after 50 days of ordering coffee, you'll get a gyroid shaped like Brewster. This is always my favorite gyroid, though the nice glow up from past games did give us a ton of cute ones this time around. I don't know why this one is a pig, but I love him. Once you've gotten coffee after three days, on the fourth day, Brewster will offer you the option to take a drink to go. This is an interactive item that has three sips available. Don't run around with it on a bad luck day or your cup will explode. Every few days, Brewster's dialogue will change up a bit as a way to signify your increased relationship with him. Always form a good relationship with your barista. This will always work out in your favor. At the back of the roost, there is an amiibo phone. Here you can call a villager or a special character in to drink coffee with. And when I say drink coffee with, I mean watch them drink coffee while you talk to them. Villagers that have previously lived on your island will actually remember you and talk about fond memories of the island. My old neighbors not remembering me when I found them during villager hunts was always so sad. Now they remember us. This is one of the best parts of the update. The little details are just so amazing. You can also invite special characters this way if you have their amiibo. Most of the time they'll bring a friend with them who does get to drink coffee with them. Unfair. But you get a nice buy one get one free experience. So, whatever. You can also invite IRL friends to come visit and drink coffee together. You know these seats that Brewster always yells at you for sitting in? Yeah, you get to sit in those, finally. You and up to seven of your friends can have a nice little coffee date. When everyone's in your cafe, walk up to Brewster and order your coffee for you and your friends. You can either decide to cover the bill for all your visitors or make those sons of guns stop mooching and pay their own way. There is a fun little trick that makes you drink water instead of coffee if you show up to your friend's island broke. Lucario has a cool video explaining how to do it if you want to find out more. I'm so happy Brewster is back. He got a nice glow up, the roost got a nice glow up, we get cool rewards from Brew Brew based on our growing relationship with him. It's always a nice surprise when he stops to give you something cool. While he doesn't add a ton of new content by himself, he's still a wonderful addition to the game. I just wish I could sit on the chair without getting kicked out. Please, Brewster, the floors, they're just too dirty. By the way, new merch has dropped! Celebrate Brewster's return with a nice pigeon milk hoodie, available in cropped and regular. Go to coramora.com to grab yours, or click the link in the description, cause pigeon milk is amazing! 
What's your favorite part of the update? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.